Good morning friends. Today I am going to demonstrate how to install the Arista VEOS on the GNS3. So before starting you need to download the GNS3 image, image for this Arista VEOS from this gns3.com. So I have provided this link in below description. You can copy and download it from there. So I have already downloaded this image. So that let's jump directly to the installation part. So let's start the GNS3 installation. First you need to go to file, import appliances. Then you need to select the file which you downloaded for GNS3. Install the appliances on the GNS3 VM that is recommended one. Click on next. QMO binary, keep it default. Next. And here, in case if you don't see any version, then you can create it. So let's see. We don't see the version image 426.9M. So we can create it by create the new version. Let's say 426.9M. Okay. Next. So the same uh, about IOC image I need for that. Click on OK. So here I need to modify the image 9M. Click on OK. So if you come to the bottom so you will see that image has been created and found so you can import those image here so I am importing dot ISO image that is ok and then next image I need to import the VMDK it is importing the VMDK image which I downloaded from the Arista website so now it is saying ready to install click on next would you like to install yes the template will be available in the multiple switch category login is the admin with no password by default initial login then click on finished so it's saying that appliances has been installed and template name it has been successfully created okay if we see here the Arista devices has been installed and we can turn it on so we can see the device is booting up device is boot up but uh, by default it will try to reach out to the DSCP, uh, DSCP server for the zero touch provisioning so we need to uh, remove, remove those uh, zero touch provisioning then only it will allow it us to proceed with the remaining configuration so we need to configure zero touch cancel and that's it once we configure then switch will reboot 